Makita? Hercules. Hercules. Just a good Hercules. Wait, is that Harper Freight? Anyways, mix up distracting me. We have new parts, not super parts. We thought it was gonna be super parts, but that's tomorrow. If you didn't know this, we talked about it on our podcast. TJ's favorite Lincoln Bile. TJ's favorite mod is the exhaust. He loves how it changes the noise, and it's a good overall changes the presence of your car. So like when you're driving around. Before we go any farther, this is for Sprint's S2000. She is. I don't know where she is right now, but me and Calvin are done waiting, and we're jumping right into it. I will note right now that we literally just got back from Ohio three hours ago. We did 13 hours of travel today. I am so incredibly tired. I'm actually impressed that Calvin has the energy oh, yeah, dude, that he has now. I gotta work on cars usually, We have a Tomei single exit exhaust. I've been finding that these are becoming really popular with a whole bunch of cars. I was talking about it with Sabrina, and she said that she wanted something. Whoa, Whoa this table has wow, wheels. A rolly table. She wants something that gives the car a growl. So today, we went full send with the Tomei. I heard this one was loud, and let's be honest, a single exit just looks really good on an S3000. I ought to hit you in the head with this, team. Look who decides to join us today. These are mine. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the lady who leaves the door open when she enters the garage. Also wearing the correct pants for today's install, white. Welcome to my world, Sabrina. Thank you. Tin, that looks nice. Good. That looks... That's some good well. <laughs> <laughs> These are our two front pieces, and then beneath all of this, ah! oh my god, that was so loud. This is the piece of resistance. Oh. What is, what are these? Oh, it's a baby, don't get your dirty, greasy. Coat. Oh man, that looks good. Don't get your human mitts all over Oh, it. that looks fucking good. Commence the hosing. Hey man! Wow, that's really pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. What is an exhaust for? An exhaust obviously makes the car louder, That's right? Really no, is it makes the car less restrictive, giving it better airflow and creates less back pressure. For example, on the BRZ, the reason why we're only making 450 horsepower right now, one of the main reasons is because we have like a 2.5 diameter and that's such a little tight bottle hole that if we open up and increase oh, the airflow size, that no. It, it allows it to go faster. Let me get this. If we got a tune on it and put a turbocharger in it. Okay, it so you're not gonna get big horsepower gains unless you're running boost. Wouldn't you? <sighs> because Sabrina is a girly girl, she wears white pants. She is not the one underneath the car, but Cobb and I are getting down dirty. I got you, I got you. It's been a while since I've been under a car, not being on a lift, you know what I'm saying? I think it feels good. Let's go. We need some PV blaster, huh? Yeah, I need PV. That'll all get the hammer and we'll hit it. Oh yeah? Wow, that's on there. This exhaust must have been on this car for like years and years and years oh, and years oh, because everything is rusted. Ooh, you got it? Hold up. There was one more hanger on your side. All of the bolts were like completely rusted. We had to PB blast it and use the big half inch gun to get it off, but all we're more so struggling with. And I feel like it's been like this since we've started working on cars and all the way back to the NVIDIA exhausted in the BRZ. Hangers suck, okay, and the Tomei, you got it? The Tomei replaces all the hangers with like actual like Bolton hangers rather than rubber hangers, but the only thing left to do is get this off of this hanger right up here, and then this Comtech exhaust will be out of the cart, and then we can start the install of the new one. We haven't put the springs in, but I've never seen an exhaust with springs that connect the pieces. I usually hate this type of exhaust where you push it in and connect it and then tighten it. We did it on the Miata and it didn't feel secure, but with these springs, with that design, it seems like it'll do like an amazing job at um, keeping it within line or aligned. But as you can see, it's inside of the car. We didn't film it because we were finagling everything. And shout out to TJ, he got the hanger off the worst thing possible. I gave up and TJ was like, eep. All the SDK owners will know it's like it's like right next to the diff up here. Actually, that that exhaust that hanger actually has to reuse it, Calv. So I'll have to go take it off. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a very annoying hanger and it sucks. But TJ pulled it off like the boss. Oh, here it is. Exhaust you previously had on it was a Comtech. There's a big resonator right there, and then there's two mufflers right here. So with this 
Tome exhaust, we're ditching the resonator and we're throwing a pipe all the way to the back and to the big muffler that is uh, notorious for that Tomei single exit. The car will still have its cat and the headers on the car, um, I don't know anything more about them, but that's all it's right now is that cat. So cat back we exhaust. should we should be getting some uh, good noise pickup out of this. Oh, dude, it looks good already. Can you hand me the spring so I can put that on? Yeah. Slide it on the end. Now I will tighten all of that down once uh, we know our fitment is where we want it. But you can see this hanger that I've put on. And it's pretty nice, it comes with like a silencing band as well, just to make sure it doesn't like rattle too much. Yep, much better. There we go, just like that. And then we're gonna get our security clamp on here. I will say the, the hardware and parts provided in this are super nice, dude. It's not like pussy shit, dude. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> dude, that is, that is a spring. Yeah, your exhaust is not going anywhere, brother. <laughs> How relatable. Jeez, dude, you that is no joke. You just tighten everything Once up. Once we tighten everything up, it should be good to go. Good on ya. This lighting is actually kind of harsh and it's not the best view for the car and it's really showing how how well it's been washed lately so i'm sure we'll be getting hosed in the comments for that all right calv let her rip first cold start oh that's louder than i thought oh she's loud do not mess around like even the headers on the brz they make the car like really fucking loud yeah too. this was just this is just a simple cat back oh man and we have the cat on yeah the cat's on this is stock headers this is literally just a like four feet in exhaust i wonder if it's a single exit doing that That's like already way too loud. This goes against all that we think. Oh man, that's like, here he comes. It sounds a lot like a race car. Like that linear race car, like F1 sound. Oh, it sounds Japanese. Jesus, man, that is... Like, that is like, you're gonna get pulled over. That's like TJ downshifting in front of a cop, you're getting pulled over meme. It's loud. It's loud. When you, you didn't even pass by me yet, you were just pulling away that way, already like really loud. There you go. There you have it, boys. Sabrina's new exhaust that she asked for. It backfires a lot, which is nice, but dude, it's like... It's loud. So incredibly loud. When we first got the car and we were getting going to the audio place, it was just a pleasant drive. We were just pleasantly cruising down the freeway. Now... Dude, it's like 10 out of 10. And okay, it's not bad in the sense that that doesn't sound good. It's like bad in the sense, like if you want like an almost daily level car, this is brutal. This is more than the BRZ. Oh, it's worse than the beer for sure. Probably not TJ's Tomei worse, but it's loud. It's not good. Did you hear that car? All the way down there. Dude, that thing is 10 out of 10 loud. I just 
Dude, can you at least tell them that I like have allergies if you can't tell? Like look at my face, I'm dying right now. That's why I wasn't able to complete my workout there. You know normally I finish the entire install, but I wasn't able to do it this time. Okay, I'm guy. almost worried that you won't like it. You were purposely trying to make it loud. Yeah, but it drones. You, you'll what? have to do it. You, I thought you said you got one that didn't drone. Sabrina, I asked you. I'm like, you want it loud. You're like, yes. I'm like, louder than the BRZ. It's probably gonna drone. You're like, that yeah, it's fine. It's a motherfucking lie. No, no. He said, do I clearly you asked it? her. Get it over I here. I clearly, I asked you. You said, do very you clearly. Do you care if it's hey, a little it's... loud? And I was like, no. And you were like, you don't care if it's loud. I'm like, no. That's all you said. It's loud. Well, it's not like really loud. It's really loud. It's the loudest car in the shop. Shut your mouth. It is. Louder than my matrix? Louder than your matrix. Damn! Is it louder than your car, Evan? Yes, it's the loudest car in the shop. Louder than the RX7. I don't know about I don't know about that, but it's yes. It's not louder than the BRZ. Do you want to go drive it right now? Do you want to go drive it? Yeah. All right, I've convinced Sabrina to get off her allergy-ridden butt to come drive this thing. We're gonna see her initial reaction. I don't think she's gonna like it. Sounds good, but it's just it's it's crazy. Oh God, my precious fucking ears. Dude, the BRZ, and then this one I start dailying it. Woo! And I'm feeling.